the mess in this attic Lot going on, but there ain't no need to panic Come on up and join, we getting wild, getting manic Spitting truth for all you fanatics, uh Every week got something new to say Ain't no filter, this shit coming straight from the brain It's coming straight from the brain Yeah, it's coming straight, coming straight from the brain What's up, everybody? Today is Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. This is A Talk in the Attic, and I'm your host, Kirk Ross. We're coming at you with one today that is unscripted. I'm actually going to try to go through the entire thing without cutting. We'll see how it goes. But I had a really uh, interesting day today that I wanted to share with you, and I think there's something to, uh, hopefully, for you to take away from this. And let me get into the context a little bit. It's been, uh, obviously, with my friend Alex passing some of um, some of you know Alex, but all of you know about Alex who have been listening to the show. Um, with his passing, with my cousin David still really struggling with his uh, COVID, how his body's reacting to COVID, he's still fighting for his life. That's pretty heavy. Um, I had a really emotional reaction in a conversation with my brother, who I love completely and look up to him so much. And this weekend, I just like, honestly, it would have been comical if if it hadn't been so kind of bizarre. But he said something to me that we'll keep between us, obviously. And I just reacted so emotionally. It wasn't about what he said. It was about all of this other stuff. It was about being cooped up for a couple years. It was about uh, just, you know, frustrations that have nothing to do with my brother that I unloaded on him. And I was like screaming at him on the phone, yelling at him like, a, I don't know, I've never, like an asshole, I guess, like some sort of Will Ferrell character um, back in the days when he would say, I will... <laughs> I am this close to murdering you. Stuff like that. I, was, I wasn't really saying that. But, you know, uh, so, so that was weighing on me. Um, I, I, I did contact him since then, and it's resolved. That's private anyway. But, you know, I, what I'm saying is it's been a difficult few weeks, and it's been a difficult year plus now. Uh, and I try to look on the bright side usually, and I typically am capable of sticking with the more positive narrative. But when I woke up today, uh, I realized once and for all that I accidentally deleted hundreds of gigabytes of data. And that includes Chris Love's rap, the Street Brokers, Cushy, Rick, Red, Nemo, all these, all these guys that were up here rapping and gave me so much of their time that night. And we really captured some beautiful moments. I lost all of that because of uh, absolute mental error on my part. It wasn't a technology thing. It was me. I screwed up. I reformatted a solid state drive. I can't get the files back. And uh, that's a shame. I was feeling doubt about that, to be honest. Um, I was a little nervous about heading into our second vaccination shot. Uh, a little bit excited, of course, for that, too. When what to my eyes should appear but a call from Pat Tanner. Many of you know Pat Tanner. He's a friend of mine dating back to junior high. And I was interested in why he was calling, of course. Um, and there was no reason for call except to he, – he wanted to talk to me a little bit about my friend, Alex. Uh, he has he lost someone very close to him recently as well, and he was just lending support for that. And then he just wanted to express because of the what we've noticed with death and the abrupt end of things, he just was calling to let me know how he feels about me and share some love with me. We talked for a while about things we haven't talked. He gave me a big update on his kids, on his wife. And I talked about the show, about some of the other things going on in our life. And it was just a beautiful conversation. It was uh, so needed, more needed than I had realized when I first answered the call. And uh, what I want to communicate to you today is just how powerful the power of love really is. And a lot of people wrap up love with sexuality and all this other stuff. But to me, of course, love is uh, just looking at things positively and giving people the benefit of the doubt and wanting other, other people to do well. Uh, wanting every other person to do well really is what true love is, right? And uh, when Pat did that, he changed my day. He changed the course of it. I had I was lighter in my step. I went up to Best Buy and wasn't all mad when I found out that I was 100% dead in the water on the lost footage. And it was just a really powerful thing. It makes me want to do the same to my other friends. I've been having similar thoughts. Uh, we don't tell our friends and our family and our mothers and our fathers. I mean. Dads are hard to say I love you too. They're just tough, you know. Uh, but all these guys, all, all these people deserve love, and they know they need to know how you feel about them. So if you haven't contacted someone, 
that people, this isn't for me. Um, I, I appreciate all the love that I, that I'm getting. I'm good in that department. Uh, so please don't take this as like a, Oh my God, does he want me to call him? No, call some people that you haven't talked to in a while. Tell them how you feel. Tell them that you love them. See what's going on in their life. You never know how big of an impact you might have on that person's day. Right. What happened after that call with Pat was I sat down and I was stoked and I started a drum loop and I started playing the piano a little bit. And I ultimately made about a three minute song that is completely freestyle. There's not a lot of work that went into it afterwards other than just adding some effects. And the reason for that is because I didn't want to create a song or produce a song that was inspired by the love I was getting from Pat. Uh, I wanted to make the song while the love I was get, that I got from Pat was still beaming out of me. So I hope you can hear that in the song. But there's more to it than that because music is so important to me. It's a lot. It's it's so important to a lot of you as well. And let's talk about this for a second. How great do you feel when you're singing? You know. And how great do you feel when you're just kind of saying words that aren't even real words, but you're just scatting, right? Well, that's what I did. I didn't have words. I didn't want to take the time to write it because then the emotion might fade away. And so I'm just talking nonsense. It's gibberish. It's a lot of background vocals. And what it is really is a perfect track for you. And I'm talking about you people. Yes, you. And don't give me a, what do you mean you people? I'm talking about you people. Every single one of you listening or watching, this is a mandate. Okay. When this song comes on, you'll hear the little intro. It's going to be very clear when you start singing. Just start going, give it up, give, let the love pour out of you. Even if you're having a bad day, even if your face is all scrunched up because you've been mad, open that fucking thing up, open your heart up, dance with your wife or your husband or your boyfriend or your dog or dance with yourself, do whatever you have to do to express some love and celebrate the fact that we're all still here to, uh, with the chance to call our friends, uh, with the chance to love our friends, with the chance to be loved back. And it's a powerful thing. I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know. I'm just excited for a new chapter. David, my cousin, is going to get through this. He's, uh, there's a new kind of challenge every day, but he is on the mend a little bit. And, you know, things are opening back up. There's a lot of good stuff coming our way, especially if you approach everything with a loving attitude. Don't approach things like I did with my brother when I was yelling at my brother. What the? Don't do that. Okay, be like me after Pat, not me before Pat, right? Now, one last thing. I now have a most popular episode, a, a new most popular episode. It's unseated the original most, most popular one, which had been the About the Host. Um, and that is the Rough Riders Anthem. That's the one where I talk about football and Teddy Roosevelt and hunting. Cozy season, as my mom wanted me to make the show about. It's that one. Well, look, DMX passed away. God rest his soul. Hey, oh! But DMX's passing has had an inadvertent effect where it's Rough Riders Anthem. Mine is spelled the more standard R-O-U-G-H-R-I-D-E-R-S Anthem as opposed to DMX's famous R-U-F-F-R-Y-D-E-R-S Anthem. That's Rough Riders Anthem. We all know that. Stop! Stop! Put them down, open up! Ah! Right? We all know that song, right? Well, Pandora suddenly is playing my, my podcast a lot, that one episode. So it's a mistake. So in light of that, you know, I'm going to start maybe trying to name, name some episodes after songs. Not in hopes that people will pass away. I don't hope that Huey Lewis is going to pass away, but uh, in hopes that maybe people will come across it on Pandora and they'll become fans. And that's what the power of love is. That's what the name of it is today. But obviously, it's really about the power of Pat's phone call, the power that we all possess to make someone's day or really hamper somebody's day just with our words or our actions or losing our temper or not paying the right kind of attention to somebody, what have you. So that's what's going on. I feel it in my heart. Thank you so much, Pat. And for everyone else, go to your car, get in the living room with your family. This is a completely family friendly song that's coming up. Blast the speakers. And get ready to sing and dance and do it. And if you have to play it on repeat, you can do that as well. I just want you to belt it out. Just unadulterated, guttural screams. Whatever you got to do. It doesn't have to be English words. There's this mumblecore rap that's going on now. Well, why can't we do this kind of music in mumblecore and scat? Just whatever, the, whatever you want to say and do. Okay? Have fun with it. But more than anything, love each other. I love you. 
I mean that in the pure sense of the word. Let's have a good one. Let's have a great summer. Let's get into this thing. I mean it. You better sing and dance. Yes. Man, I'm feeling good right now. Thank you so much for that phone call today. Mr. Pat Tanner, Russell Dickman himself, always the go-to guy that you want on your comedy team and basketball team. Uh, This is the power of love, y'all. Thanks for the call, man. I needed the love. Let's do this. Sing along. Do what you got to do. Make something up. It's just a sketch. You guys are in your cars. Sing with me. Please sing with me. I'm not even saying words anyway, and I'm hardly in it. Let's go. Take 47. Action.